Hey everybody, um, just a little video update, you know, a video update or it didn't happen. So I didn't want to show that I am working on the transmission, the AOD. So this, what I have in my hand is a reverse drum. It's a two inch reverse drum with a mechanical diode. That noise is from a mechanical diode. So this two inch drum came, came out of a 4R70W. Um, I have completely cleaned it. I have put new seals on the piston. I have, you know, basically gone through it. Nothing is wrong with it. So I've just, you know, gotten my whole new um, read kit for the AOD, you know, rebuild kit for the AOD. So um, I am basically going through and building it. So what you see here, that wavy thing is a Belleville spring which is riding on top of a ring that is a part of the piston. That piston is what will um, go up and down and apply these clutches um, that are um, these clutch and clutch steels that sit in this drum, which is empty right now. So what I'm going to do every time when you're building it, of course, every part that you build, you make sure that you air check it, uh, make sure that it's working before it even goes in so you know you didn't mess up something or a seal that is not leaking or something like that anyway so what i do here is there is a hole that right there and there's an equivalent hole up top these two holes are what send oil pressure transmission fluid pressure but under the piston and then what when that pressure rises the piston basically gets pushed up which pushes the clutches together and the clutch steels together applies the um basically whatever gear this is so this is a reverse drum so it basically is comes on in reverse um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover the hole that is up top and i'm going to introduce some air on the hole in the bottom and you should see that piston go up and down while i uh, put air pressure in it. now that belleville spring is quite strong so it takes a little bit for it to move but just keep an eye on it, and you'll see it move. And I do it on every part I built. So that's that. I only have about 50 PSI of air running in this, um, in my air hose right now. So, you know, it's only going to be able to move it so much. So... We are good, this part is great. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and install these uh, new clutch fibers with the old clutch steels and that snap ring. Uh, the fibers have been soaking overnight in transmission fluid. So yeah, here's an update, hope you all like it. <laughs> 